Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Project Dreamboat. Join us as the team at LNH gets crafty, designing parts from scratch for their all new 43. We just started working on the 43 walk around, the LNH 43 walk around. Uh, one of the projects that we did start and we're working on right now is uh, new air vents for the boat. The uh, boat again is larger, the engines are larger. These are 600 horsepower Cummings engines. So they need to be supplied more air. The typical vents that we use on our 33 weren't gonna be large enough. But again, in, in trying to keep the boat look very similar in style and appearance, we wanted to go with a vent that's gonna look similar to what we used on the 33. So that's how we settled on what kind of look we're gonna use for this vent. And in the process of making a mold, you have to produce what's called a master or a plug. And that is basically the three-dimensional shape of what you're going to be making the mold of. We had to create the teardrop shape, which was just simply drawn up. We, we decided what we liked, what looked good. That was just done with just molding. That's made with just a simple molding. In, the, in this case, we used three-quarter inch PVC, straight carpentry techniques, shaping, routering, and just create the ring that will be the outside ring of the vent when it's completed. And then we take that teardrop shape uh, door skin pattern that we had, transfer that mark onto the uh, louvers and cut that shape out so that it fits within the, the ring of the vent that we're making. Once the teardrop shape has been cut out and, and fit into the outside ring of the air vent, it was all epoxy glued together. Um, and then we bring that back to the glass shop and Lucio is gonna take care of fairing and, and smoothing it. Before the mold can be built off the template, first, a tan-based coat primer is sprayed on thick to fill all voids while providing a soft surface that can be easily sanded. Next, a finished coat of gray surface primer is sprayed on. This coat is a much finer finish that is wet sanded and then buffed to a polished finish. Now that the template is prepped, it's time to build the mold. Multiple coats of tooling wax and PVA, polyvinyl alcohol, are applied to ensure that the mold has a clean separation from the template. Once dry, the gel coat can be applied. An international orange tooling gel coat is used specifically for molds because it can handle much more heat than a normal marine gel coat. It's sprayed on twice as thick so that when the mold is separated, it can be wet sanded and buffed to its final finish without thinning the gel coat. Once the gel coat is dry, it's time to do the skin out. First, a mix of cabosil and orange tooling gel coat is used to fill corners and tight edges. Then the first layer of ounce and a half mat is carefully applied and all air bubbles are pushed out using the fiberglass roller. Time is taken on this step to ensure a perfect bond between the gel coat and fiberglass. Two layers are done per day, finishing with six layers total. Next, foam is poured into all louvers and spaces to ensure the mold keeps its original shape. The foam is ground down and then sealed with two more layers of fiberglass. Once the fiberglass is dry, a frame is built and glassed on to support the mold. This allows for easier removal and shop use. Once the piece is fully cured, it's time to pop the mold. Multiple wedges are used around the edges to slowly separate the mold from the template. With the mold separated, the residual PVA is cleaned off and the mold is wet sanded and buffed to a polished finish. Now you have a finished mold that will last for many years to come. The process for making a vent off of this mold is almost identical to the mold process. Wax and PVA are applied to the mold to ensure the vent separates. Then the gel coat is brushed into tight spaces and sprayed on at a normal thickness. Once dry, it's ready for a skin out with ounce and a half mat. This is still the most important step by ensuring the mat is sealed to the gel coat with no air pockets. This piece will have four layers of mat. It will be about 3 16 of an inch thick. Once cured, it's popped off the mold. The louvers are cut out with a router and the edges are lightly sanded. Finally, the vent is primed and painted to match the whisper gray interior color of the boat. It's a long process, but these custom accents are what make these boats one of a kind. All right, yeah, the air vents came out really good. Um, we're getting ready to put them and install them on the boat. Um, we're still back into the interior, um, working away on that. Um, everything's starting to come together. It's still quite a construction zone, but um, we're really, uh, really pleased with the way it's moving along.
When we return, George Labonte joins Dreamboat owner Chris Fischetti aboard his custom 22-foot Pathfinder in this week's One Man's Dreamboat segment. This segment brought to you by Fiberglass Coatings, the largest selection of fiberglass materials in the United States.